shaking the floor. All right, so I'm on my new painting I got uh, from a local artist who I work with. He's pretty cool. He does bartending mostly, but he does art on the side. Uh, I don't know if he did that first or not. So that's Jack Smith, all right? I already posted it, but here we go. <clears throat> For the beer part, I have Strange Land Brewery. Uh, says a Russian Imperial Stout, no collusion. American Bourbon Barrels, Texas. So 10.1% alcohol by volume, 36 IBUs. Uh, let's see if I can remember this correctly. Uh, bourbons and scotches are all whiskeys, but not all. Not all whiskeys. Whiskeys and bourbons are scotch, right? Not all whiskeys are bourbon or scotch. All right, so minimal thing you need to know. Uh, whiskeys in America usually stay at 40%. They can have any amount of corn. Bourbon has to have 51% and has to have new age barrels or new American oak barrels made just for that, you know, first time. Hasn't been used before. Virgin oak, as they call it. And Scott, Scotch, Scotland does mostly straight or single malt. Uh, they use peat moss a lot and definitely has come from that region in order to be considered scotch usually when you're over there though it's just called whiskey from what i'm gathering so those are just interesting things to know when you're talking about bourbon or whiskey um barrel of age anything uh, that's a variance from them so and usually bourbon has a little more punch so bourbon barrels my favorite love bourbon all right <clears throat> here we go got my barrel house Let's see if i can do this pour right it looks like the machine is pouring a beer. Oh, oh, oh. Getting a little distracted here. It looks very light and silky. I'm already getting little whiffs of it over here, which is pretty in intense. Yeah, oh, oh, messed it up at the end. Yeah, I'm still getting whiffs of it. So it's very sweet smelling, boozy smelling, uh, very malty, deep caramel. That's pretty intense. Not like um, that it's actually intense. I'm using the word like cool, awesome. But, for me, it's awesome, so. Oh, yeah, definitely, I can smell that. Ooh. The body is very light. Super deep char is what I get from the malt first. And then I get the clean little uh, bitterness afterwards and a uh, little bit of whiskey, and it's actually pretty light and delicate for having all this going on. So if you're not a super stout lover, but you can enjoy a nice char, I recommend this. It doesn't taste super sweet. It has a little hint. It goes back and forth from the savory to the, the little booziness to, you know, little background of like malt sweetness. But it's pretty damn, pretty light. Or as they say, crushable. Nice, because usually more, more stouts and porters and get very deep, very heavy. Kind of like sinks you down a little bit. Some people enjoy it, some don't. I love very rich food. So for me, this is a uh, pretty chill. I would definitely recommend to my cousins and stuff like that aren't used to it. But I do be careful. It is 10.1, so don't let it fool you. Other than that, it's very, very quick and sippable. Afterwards, you get a little smoky uh, caramel linger. Very savory. That's like, uh, it's like being the char of the wood right now. <laughs> that's crazy. So all right, that's not bad. Um, out of all the ones that have been in bourbon barrels, this is not my top one. It's not that I hate or nothing. I would definitely drink it again. It's just, if I can think of a couple, I'd have other ones that would pop up first, especially Southern, was it Southern Star? Southern Star. Yeah, they got a good one. Their stout is already, it's called Buried Hatchet. I don't know what they did, but there's a lot of complexity, woody, deep, wet, just oaky, just all kinds of stuff going on. And then they barreled AJ and it's just pff, full of flavor. It's not the strongest in ABV, but worth every sip you take so uh hopefully if you're new subscribe hope you like the new painting i got <clears throat> it's new to me he's had it for a while but i locked it in i kept my word i'm happy to new year do your best and uh, enjoy one on strange land all right have a good night